We're back here at the NRA National Farms Museum. I'm here with senior curator Phil Schreier, and we are here for more Curator's Corners installments here in the Ruger Gallery. And Phil, that is quite a nice looking farm. What do we have this week for Curator's Corner? John, we've got a, we've got a Savage uh, Model 99. You know, and a couple, uh, couple of episodes ago, we talked about the uh, the Savage Trials Pistols uh, oh, for yeah. the 100th anniversary of the 1911. Yes. Uh, well, as strange as it is, more people know Savage today as a rifle than they do a pistol because there aren't really any, you know, many Savage pistols on the market. Right. Whereas back, you know, around the turn of the century, the early 1900s, they really com commanded a large part of the market. Uh, but this uh, is one of their most venerable rifles, the Model 99. It's a, uh, it's a lever action rifle. Uh, and for those of you uh, that are able to, uh, to view this at home, uh, you'll notice that this is a special, special Model 99. Phil, <laughs> just seeing it, I had a feeling, and knowing you, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> look at you. Just all you have to do is just, you know, you just yeah. do a reveal and you just start to look at the wood and then you're like, okay, okay. I'm right there. That's, you got me. All right, we know this is going somewhere. Oh, um, boy, look at that. Isn't that great? That's the Savage Indian logo. Oh, beautiful. It's, uh, it's in which gold was, and black. Go, yeah, just that was on all their pistols Gorgeous. as well. Uh, the 99 uh, was considered one of the. Uh, one of the, the great lever action hunting rifles uh, of the 20th century. Mm -hmm. uh, it competed strongly against the Winchester 94. That was in 3030. This is in 300 Savage or 303. Okay. There were a, lot, a number of different calibers for this 300 right. Savage being uh, the caliber that this one. Look at the machining on the, yeah, uh, on the bolt. And then over here, ah, this other, might give the us a reveal. Hint. This gives us a hint. look at that. It's the seal of the National Rifle Association in gold, in gold. And the reason why it's in gold is because of the inscription here. Look at that. The one millionth Savage 99 presented to the National Rifle Association of America, March 22nd, 1960. Serial number wow. one million. Oh yeah. Isn't wow. that gorgeous? So the last time, Phil, we had the f one, the first the first gun, and this is the wow. I'm, I'm once again got me speechless. How do you do this? Wow. One million savage ninety nine. One million 99s. savage. Wow. And 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 it's housed where it should be. It is. Right it's at, at the, the National, National Firearms Farm. Museum. Uh, you know, industry has been so generous to the NRA over the years. You know, John, a couple weeks ago we talked about the Boy Scout exhibit. All those commemoratives were right. donated to us by Remington and Henry uh, and Taylor uh, wonder in Ruger the wonderful generosity uh, and 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 this is uh, boy this is just something this is I know. Uh, uh, 1960 uh, a gift from uh, one of the major manufacturers in this country and, and you know what I didn't know when it was donated you just I just found out but looking at that it looks like it could have been donated yesterday yeah we try we try to keep Keep things nice. Here. Jeez. <laughs> now I know we wear the white gloves all the yeah. time. The white that gloves is... help. You know we have Ruger uh, number one million of the uh, of the Ruger uh, Mark uh, one pistol uh, or Mark Mark two twenty two pistol. We have serial number one million of that. Uh, there's uh, a couple of guns with significant serial number uh, references that we have in the in the collection. Wow, that is so, and it's great to see you mentioned the industry stepping forward working together on things like the, the Boy Scout, uh, the scouting exhibit for the museum, stepping forward in places like this, not only stepping forward as we see them to, to protect our Second Amendment rights, but now to commemorate and, and to work with the NRA like this. And that's what makes the, the National Farms Museum such a special place. There's many great firearms museums in this country, but there's only one NRA, National Farms that's Museum, right. where you're gonna see something like this. So. Wow, that is so great. So, so how can folks see this? Especially, I know the people who are listening on Sirius are dying to see this thing. So, how can they see it? Well, they'll need to get on the interstate and come to uh, Washington D.C. and visit us at uh, uh, at our Fairfax, Virginia headquarters. It's located off Interstate Route 66 in the intersection of U.S. Route 50 in Fairfax. Uh, we're open seven days a week. Plenty of uh, parking. Free admission since 1935. If you can't make it into the building to see us, though, 
uh, visit us 24-7 on the internet at uh, nramuseum.org. And you got beautiful, detailed photographs on there that you can get to see all the stuff we were just talking about on that website. Not only that, John, but you know, uh, some guys, some great guys from NRA News came by one day and they helped us film some really cool videos. I heard about that. And, and you know, one, one of them has gone to two and a half That's million right. views. The already. viral <laughs> NFM videos. The viral <laughs> NFM videos. So uh, look at us uh, on our YouTube channel, uh, the NRA uh, News Channel, uh, into the Archives for Curators Corner. Visit us on the internet. Um, it's one stop shopping. Love it. Phil, thank you so much. I don't know how you do it every week, but you outdo yourself every week. So I can't wait for the next installment of Curator's Corner. Thank you, sir. Thank you, John.